Hey y'all, it's Benny B. Yachts here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really unique boat, I think. It's a uh, Galleon 660 Fly. Um, this boat is interesting for a number of reasons. The first being that the model is 660, uh, but the LOA on it's actually 72. So there's a lot of space in this boat. I think it's a, a good bang for your buck. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here we go. All right, so here she is. Again, this is 2018. You have the 660 Fly Emblem up there. And again, this is a Galleon. Um, they didn't make too many of these boats. I think they made maybe four or five holes, which I don't, I don't really know why, because the layout on this boat is, is really nice. Um, you'll see once we get in. But let's go ahead and start back here. Um, obviously you have a massive swim platform here, easily can hold uh, a pretty big tender and then you have your steps to go down to the water here on the starboard side. Um, let's go ahead and jump on. <clears throat> Crew access here, which I'll show you guys later on towards the end of the video and then obviously you have your dive ladder over there. So really good entertaining space back here. Let's go ahead and move up the stairs here. So here we are in the cockpit, which is a really good space for entertainment. We have a good U seating area. And then back here, I have it uncovered for y'all, is a good uh, sun pad layout area that's just outside of the hard top here. So you can get a good amount of sun during the day. Swim platform controls here. And then some nice gates on, on both sides. All right, let's go ahead and <clears throat> head into the salon now. Uh, here's your storage and then engine access here, which, which we'll get to. And then more storage over here. All right, so as I said before, I mean, the layout on this boat is, it is a 72, even though the model is mentioned to be 660. Um, I, I really like the layout of this boat. So here, which kind of combines the cockpit um, outdoor area, you can have both these doors pretty wide open. Um, I don't think this is, uh, this isn't a pocket door. So this will just slide over to that one. And then it seems like that's just gonna be open right there. But what I was saying was, is that you have this nice uh, uh, salon area in the aft of the boat and then this is on the starboard side, then you have a TV here. When you have that door open, you can really kind of keep people in this whole area back here as far as entertainment goes. Um, you don't have to have people running through the boat and through the galley. And with this midship galley here, um, it, it, it's, a, it's a really nice touch because then these people out that are hanging out can go on the flybridge. If they want to get out of the sun and get uh, into some AC, you're just a step away and you have an additional uh, hangout space here. So that alone, I think, makes this boat pretty unique. And then, like I said, the TV's over there. So um, you can have that up and swung out for people that, that want to watch the game from outside. Let me come down these steps here. Moving farther forward in the salon, you have your dining space over to the starboard side with a high-low table. Interior cushions and everything looks really, really good. Again, this is a 2018, so it should show fairly well. Galleon always does a great job with the lighting. And then, again, this is a midship galley on the port side. You have your... Uh, convection slash microwave. You have your cooktop, uh, plenty of storage up here, plenty of storage down here, and then storage over here as well. And then you obviously have your fridge and freezer right there. Uh, you kind of have this bar area here, which is a nice touch. So that again, if people are coming in and out, you can serve them right here. <clears throat> Obviously, I have the uh, windscreen up right now just because it's hot here down in Fort Lauderdale pretty much every single day. So trying to keep the temperature down inside the boat. And then you come up here on the starboard side, you have your um, helm station, some 
nice Ray Marine screens. You have your Humphrey trim tabs here, and then Ray Marine, and then your Sea Keeper set up over there. Take one more look at the salon. <clears throat> Moving down into the cabins here, immediately to the port side, you have one of my favorite parts about this boat, uh, basically a full laundry room. I mean, this is, there's no cabins in here. There's no, or there's no beds in here rather. Um, all this is is storage and uh, obviously he's got vacuums in here, but you could easily fit some bicycles in here if you wanted to, some folding bikes. Um, you're not dealing with a combo washer. Um, so it, it's, it's a really, really good space that can be used. <clears throat> Let's go over here. Starboard side, first cabin. Walking in here, you have your single beds. Good amount of space. Then obviously these combined together, they're on that track system there. Then of course you have their head and this would be considered the day head on the boat as well. But they have their own private access, which is nice. This is the day head access here. And then moving farther forward, you have your VIP state room. Big windows on the port and starboard side. And then you have a big sunshade that you can open up here to let some more natural light in here. But again, the lighting on this boat is, is great. You have some accent lighting there, some up around here. Nice big hanging closets. The way that they laid this boat out, I'm, I'm just surprised that they didn't make any more holes than the four or five that are out there. Um, this is the VIP head. So not a day head, private access for your VIPs. Nice size shower, rain head, separated nozzle there. I'll show you this side as well. So TV and a little bit of storage there. We're gonna go ahead and move back to the master. Got some nice additional storage here. Again, another hanging closet. Goes pretty deep as well. Here we are in the master. Huge windows on the port and starboard side again. Lots of natural light that you're getting in this boat. You have your TV here. You have a fridge here. So you don't have to run up to the galley for, for stuff in the middle of the night. Looks like he already has some fun juice in there. And then a nice little seating area. Again, big windows. Then you have your master head. Again, rain shower. go ahead and head this is on the starboard side tons of storage here storage under the bed storage back there there is not a lack of storage on this boat at all and then this is a little closet with a vanity hanging closets here for linens and towels and sheets Get another view of that real quick. Again, super nice layout on this boat. Let me flip this around here. I mean, the amount of space that I have in the master and throughout the boat, I mean, I got at least another foot above me in this boat everywhere you're walking. So height is not, not an issue. <clears throat> Uh, 
Right now I'm gonna take you back up to the cockpit and then we're gonna go up to the flybridge. Quick. Going up to the flybridge on the galleon. Here you obviously have your upper helm station now. Same electronics, same um, displays and everything that you're going to get on the lower helm station here. Uh, I don't have it uncovered because it's been raining on and off so much, but uh, this is just another forward sun pad area. Same color as the cockpit sun pad area down below. Um, so again, another nice area to lay out in the sun. You have a nice little forward seating area here. Then you always have your grill and sink. And you have another really good entertaining space up here, folding table, fridge, ice maker under where I'm standing right now. And then you also have this great sunshade that kind of turns this hard top into a convertible. So you can go ahead and hit a button this entire shade will drop back, so if you're out at night down in the Bahamas, you could easily have a nice starry night and don't always have to have a hard top or a bimini. So it's a really cool option. Let me go ahead and give you one more look here. And there's that top. Nice. Now we're going to head down the stairs. I'm going to show you the bow real quick and then we'll hit the crew quarters and we'll be good to go. Again, moving forward, lots of space on this boat. Great stainless along both sides here to grab onto. I forgot to show you this, but that there, there is a, an entry door here for the captain. Foot controls up here, anchor lockers. Get on this side, get my shadow out of the way. You have your windlass, and then again, you know, another sunbathing area, really nice bow seating, and they do flip up and, and hold their posture when they're up. And then right in between these are where the uh, that windows is for the VIP. So that's that's where that is. Again, great layout for this size of boat. Let's go ahead and take a look at crew real quick. All right, I have the crew door opened here. Again, on a 72 foot boat, uh, you're probably gonna have a little bit of crew. So let's just take a look at this. Of course, I don't have the lights on. All right, so bed's not too big here, but your feet would go back here. You've got storage in here right now. Basically two crew bunks. Uh, not the biggest bunks ever, but like I said, you're not gonna be doing super long voyages on this boat. So for a captain and a mate, it's not too small. They have their own little microwave area, storage here, storage up there, storage over here. And then you have more closet space here, as well as sea keeper access here. And then they have their own little sink as well. And again, this is more storage right now, but this is uh, the cruise wet head. And that's gonna be it for our crew area. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for our Galleon 660 fly walkthrough. Again, this is a 2018 model. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, 
please feel free to leave me a comment in the section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more weekly videos. Thanks guys, see you next time.